and welcome to today's video. Don't mind my hair, I haven't even brushed it yet. But we're late, we're going down to the barn and then I'll come back and get freshened. It is gorgeous outside today, just beautiful. Not too hot yet, not too cold. Come on, Daisy. Come on. Uh-oh, Daisy. Right here. <laughs> Come on. Good girl, yeah. Good girl. Man, that, that dog is getting so good. Come on. Anyway, good morning and I hope you guys are having an awesome day. We have something big and huge and amazing to do today. Today is something, every time we like deal with some kind of horse professional, I learn so much and today is gonna be one of those days. We have little Lexi here and I do not know where her man is, but he was probably laying right beside her until we came, huh? Dr. B! Huh, I beat you! There's a bee out there. You saw a bee out there? A A penny pickle! Look at all those shavings, you guys. I don't know if you can tell, but there's a lot of shavings. We don't put many shavings up here because that's where Penny eats. All right, so while the horses eat, I gotta tell you guys, because I just figured it out, and it's just weird to me how I struggled to figure out what I wanted to say for so long, and then now suddenly God gives me the words. Okay, so you guys know I've been trying for a little, ever since the beginning of our horsey journey, I've been trying to say this, and I haven't been able to say it, but today I was, just before I got up, I was watching an Ellen show, and it had this lady who studies whales, a scientist who studies whales, and she told this story about how she got into the water because uh, she needed to get some more footage of something. She gets inside the water, and this whale, this big huge whale comes over to her and starts like nudging her and trying to tuck her underneath his, one of his wings, I think she called it a wing, but one of his arms and she was, this whale was trying to tuck her underneath there and she was like, what the heck is going on here? And he was like really insistent. He pushed her and was, she suddenly was up on his nose. Like he was trying to do something to her and a few minutes later she looked over and she saw that there was another, dolphin there was a whole bunch of dolphins but she noticed another dolphin and this dolphin was not his tail was not going like this it was going like this and she's like it was like a tiger shark one of the most dangerous tiger sharks and she was like oh my gosh what am I gonna do and that dolphin that was trying to like nudge her and tuck her underneath its body picked her up and pushed her 18 feet up into the boat picked her up out of the water and pushed her into the boat because it was protecting her from the shark which is so shocking and unbelievable and then she was talking about how a year later um she was out there working again and all of a sudden this this dolphin just came up and, out of nowhere and was like look stared in her face stared into her eyes over the side of the boat and she was like oh my gosh it's the, the guy that saved me last year it was a year and 15 days to the to the date that the dolphin did this to her. And he was so excited, she got into the water to be with him and he came up, wrapped his wings or his, his, his whatever she called them, his arms around her body and gave her the biggest hug and it was her birthday. So it was like so amazing. And, and what I wanna say about it is that, and Ellen said this, and this is what made me realize that this is what I've meant all along and haven't been able to express it that. So what I wanted to say here was that what is more human and what is more emotional than a completely different species, a wild animal rushing into a situation to save somebody, somebody from another species, and expect nothing in return but just to have done something emotional like that. I put a sprinkler underneath. I'll jump and I'll jump with all over. Oh, that'd be fun. Let's do it today, sister. Yeah, but we need a sprinkler. Oh, fine, that's a sprinkler. Dad so has everything. And she has to jump through water. Okay, so here's my question oh, Do you believe. Horse. What? I said I'll do that on a horse. You'll do that on a horse? Yeah. All right! Challenge accepted. Oh wait, they might freak out. What horse are you gonna do it on? Chino. All right. Well, I don't know. We'll Chino's see. Gonna freak out the most. We'll see. A water feature. Okay. I wait. Anymore. I have a question. Do you think that we are superior to animals, and that the way we think is superior? I don't know what superior means. It means better than. We are not better than animals. You don't think we're better than animals? No, we're the exact same. I think we're different, but I don't think that we should be considered superior. Uh, it's not that we're not superior 
to me, to me it's that, to me it's that we don't give them enough credit. That's what I, I want to say. That's what I mean to say. Don't misunderstand me, please. Wait. Okay, Gabby, do you think that animals, do you think that, that we should value their thought process and, and. I don't know. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying anymore either. <laughs> Okay, done that. I hate to say things like that and put myself out there because people be coming at me like it happens, you guys. But anyways, so welcome to today. I'm excited, you guys already see. We're gonna be doing some water jumps in the near future. If you didn't see, we got these things. This one looks like it's uh, maybe got a hole or something. We got these things in the mail yesterday and we had a fun time with them. Ah, uh, Sophie's afraid. <laughs> Wait a bit. So we did the next best thing and we're gonna have Kaylee over soon and Kaylee and Gabby are gonna have a go at it and then my grandkids are gonna have a go at it. So this is what I wanted to tell you guys. Every night lately I've been watering my garden and then I come into this arena and I sit here with the, with the mares and last night I hung out with Penny for a while and she's so territorial of me. She doesn't let anybody near me. She likes me to brush her and to rub her and to just lay here with her and last night she got bored because I stayed so long and her and Gracie just high booked it outside and they were looking for food and I just laid here and Willow came up to me and I had the most glorious experience with her and that is what happened. So I laid here and at first I think she was worried about me. She was sniffing every part of me. I could see the mama come out in her. Like if you pay attention enough, you can, you can see like a whole other side. And so she was sniffing me and she was nosing me and she was treating me like I was a baby. And then I started to, to like brush her and to scratch her. And then she started to groom me and then I groomed her more. And literally when we, I laid here for probably an hour and I rubbed every single part of her body and she groomed every part, well not, she, she groomed me all over and she put her her face in my hands and yeah. was guiding me to where to rub on her. I rubbed her head, her legs. You guys know this horse sat in this field for 15 years and she has only been loved and 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 cared for like as a pet for not too long. And this horse, what that horse, like I never bonded with Willow before. I like I loved her. She that horse, Gabby, Sophie, you taught her. Sophie taught that horse that to communicate and to show affection to humans is to kiss them. And I was laying here and she was putting her, her head right up and putting her nose right to my lips and doing it over and over and she was kissing me. We have to do a uh, race. Go. Me against my dog. Okay. Anyway, it was super powerful and that's what led me to the whole conversation I just had with you. Okay, show, show us the race. All right, Gabby first. Gabby, you race, okay, Sophie first. race my dog. Okay. I'll race her. On the count of three, Sophie's gonna race her dog. Hope she doesn't trip you. Okay. All right, on your mark. Get set. Go. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Uh, okay, run back as fast as you can. Why is she crossing in front of you? Oh, I think she's worried. She's like, why is that girl, why is my girl running? All right, I believe in you, I believe in you. On your mark, get set, go. Go, Gabby cheats. Gabby, Come on, go. Gabby, <laughs> Gabby cheats. <laughs> she's winning. Oh. Oh, the poor dog wants to race. Gabby's making her just sit there. You know? Okay. Okay, go. Okay, go. <laughs> She's still beach. dog right here is so concerned about Sophie all the time. I'm really small walking up the stairs because... She, this is the most caring dog I've ever met in my life. And my dog 
way it's coming out of the top of the stairs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just like, where are we going? Yeah. Like, literally, it's insane. If Sophie is laying on my bed and we're chatting and Sophie leaves the room, that dog leaves the room. If Sophie goes up the stairs, the dog meets her at the top of the stairs but stops and waits for her. Like, that dog makes sure Sophie is Until okay. Until beside her and she walks. Loves, that dog loves her. All right, let's go. We're going to take the horses out and do chores and then I'm going to, and then it will see you guys in a bit. arena door so we get cross air and this is the fence that we need and it got stuck in all these bushes that started I'm to grow this tree. so Sophie's gonna be over here helping to get it out by chopping the trees and so we get the tree out of the way we can see if anything goes. Gabby and I are gonna be here lifting and doing the heavy work we're hopefully gonna be able to get it out I'm also gonna be over here getting hurt because Gabby threw a stick at me <laughs> she didn't apparently know that I was there <laughs> All right, you guys, you pray for us. Pray for us. Oh, my side's coming right up. Oh, see, I got it, you guys. We just need to to get all those bushes there cut. Nobody wants to go in there because of I was the one who was climbing in there. Yeah, Gabby was climbing in there. I think we're going to get it. All right, I need clippers. Hand me them. Let, let her go clip. In. Look, it's these middle ones I think we need to I clip. I have to cut my way over. All right, cut your way over, Gabby. This right. is the day-by-day -day girls working together. I'll ripping it up them. what Willow just looks like a blob i know the mayor's out there just enjoying life willow willow likes to eat grass while she's while well, it's standing up to her belly that's why i have to check her for ticks all the time if you guys ever have a border collie just say molly or her name and just go Whoa. Oof, and yeah she'll chase anything <laughs> anything that moves Ow. her she'll whip you with it all right good job gabriella holy heck this is, this is, this is what it's I love. A <laughs> it's a vine. Cut a couple All right, you think we can get it? I think you oh, need to cut the... Oh, there's a log. Oh, there's a log. I'm standing on Yeah, this is farm life, you guys. Farm life. Oh, one does all the work. One bosses and one plays. Fine. That is how our dynamics are. Oh, she likes the other one. So, I, you guys might have seen that we had a little bit of, we had a few bushes growing in the mare's uh, dry field and I was able to get out there and cut all that down today. Been cleaning up the poo. Yeah. Right, keep in mind what it looked like before. It's we should have showed you a before. It's, it's <laughs> I'm about to show you an after. Dun, da, da, da. Like, look at that. Our whole mare's dry lot has a totally different look to it now. We did that and it took a lot of work. Sophie's trying to remove the stone from the sword. The sword from the stone. Oh, it's hard. So Sam put this in. Sam put this in one day for something we needed and then um, we can never get it out. Sophie and I have like actually got it up higher and higher. It's getting close. Who thinks she can do it? Oh, me. <laughs> no. Oh, we might need a rest. Update on my little garden. For anybody who's interested, I've got all this stuff planted. I still have a big space here that I'm going to put something. I just don't know what yet. I have a big space in the middle that's not going to have anything. This is it. This is our garden. Lots of stuff coming up. Lots of stuff doing okay. Soon after I planted the pumpkins, suddenly we had a snowstorm. So some of my pumpkins and a couple of my peppers might not make it. But that's the, that's the, that's the beauty of having a garden in Canada. Okay, you spiritual people out there. We just had a, a crazy phenomenon. You guys, my whole entire adult life, I've had birds come into our house. I don't know what's happening. 
Molly bit it. Molly bit it? I heard something. Oh, check it. Look at its eye. That's fine. I barely got her. It's just dust from the vent. Oh, get that stuff out. I'm an eye picker. All right, so Sophie went upstairs. I was scared to death. She heard something come through the vent, the vent of the bathroom. So they're coming through the air vent. Maybe not the bathroom. Maybe some other vent. Anyway, there was a lot of screaming. She scared me first. I went out of the bathroom and she peeked. Oh. Gabby. Gabby, she screamed. Gabby, Gabby. Oh, okay, let's let it go. You guys know this is the second bird that's come in our house. No, oh. there's a lot more birds. There's Third. Third bird, this in this house. We need no. to fix that. Ruby, Molly, stay. And whoops, and it's gone. Oh, there's a snake. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, and now there's a snake. Birds and snakes. Yeah. What does it mean though when when birds are like always coming to you? Birds are always coming in your house. There's snake skin. Oh where? Right there. Yeah. Where? Right there. Oh my god. Oh, my god. Right there. oh, that's a lot of snake skin. Grab it up here and let's look at it. Something scared. Oh man. That is cool. Do you guys see it? That's from the snake that lives underneath our porch. Oh, that's neat. We just interrupted him shedding his skin. Wow, that's cool. Okay, so I just posted a TikTok and somebody asked me, Laura, who's your horse your favorite horse? Your favorite horse if you couldn't pick. Penny and so my favorite horse if I couldn't pick Penny is Storm and the reason is because Storm is our OG day-by-day -day horse Storm has always been there and Storm is the leader of us He works really hard to protect our herd to keep our herd safe like the things I've seen him do in the field to keep our horses safe he protects us he loves so fiercely and so strongly and he would be my favorite for my my favorite horse sophie favorite horse if you couldn't choose finn uh definitely chino chino why do you love chino best if you couldn't because you he, he will help me grow and better at riding so you love his ability yeah and i love a bay horse with dapples she also thinks it's cute favorite horse if you can't choose chino or storm gracie gracie take care why because favorite horse if you can't pick any that are yours Gracie Chino Finn. or Storm you like Finn mm -hmm. <laughs> so now I leave it up to you guys comment below who is your favorite horse of ours and why why is it why is that horse your favorite Oh, hello. Look how good our girls are. They know. Like, she is coming to me. Oh. So this is the door that will soon be open all the time. Sam was able to come back here with his tractor, cut all the grass to the pool. Although I'm going to admit he did not do an awesome job. Look at, we broke that from the grass. I know, I broke that. One day after mom and I were sitting here. Oh, <laughs> Kevin, you need to go on a diet. You were sitting here too. Okay, so I did this. I put my hand there and I was putting my hand here too. I stood up, I barely pressed and it but broke like just, older yeah, than just me, going so. to yeah, it. that's garbage this is garbage i'm still gonna sit on it until i actually fall the last thing that i have on today's agenda for the girls and i to get done is whoa to clean out our pool you guys oh yeah no i'm not doing that yeah you are you get in there with a broom see how i've cleaned up a lot of it there's a scrub brush and a broom get in there and and clean it you got it you have to scratch it you have to get in done no, come on, get in there. I'm scared again. Hard labor. My kids are learning hard labor today. I hold the ladder. All right, I'll hold the ladder. And hold my broom. Okay. All right, you can grab a different Daddy, broom. Move. Hurry up. Wait, do I go all the way to the top? Yeah. Yep, go all the way to the top. 
poor chicken Sophie. I don't know. There's like water in here. I just oh, I can't wait to put water in there. As soon as we clean it up, it's ready for water. Like we just gotta get it cleaned. Yeah. Alright, you start sweeping. I'm gonna clean up all this stuff and then we'll catch you. Oh, we'll catch you back in a minute and you guys can see yeah. the what we've accomplished. We got Daisy here with us. She's gonna eat all this grass gone. <laughs> trapped in the pool we are, and Gabby and I just start walking away I'm going to get some stuff I'll be right back so, <laughs> even the dogs left she's like oh, no we'll be right back Did some work in the pool we're gonna finish it tomorrow but this is what nap time in the mayor field looks like they all be lounging in here staying out of the sun pop in she doesn't like the camera have a good afternoon guys we're going to the barn to see the boys we'll be back have a good rest have a good rest penny pickle look down at the barn sam's been home hasn't noticed a single thing it's offensive when we worked so hard and you notice nothing. Ooh, do you like? Do you like it? Yeah. Do you really yeah. like it? Looks yeah, good. Favorite horse out of all of our horses. My favorite horse is Storm. Uh, why? But why? Like, why? You've never ridden him? Because he's a leader. Oh, that's why I like him too. Because he's what? A leader. Oh, he has good ground manners when you lead him. He has good ground manners when you lead him. He's respectful. He's sweet. People like him. Like the people at our barn that take care of him love him. Um, he... I, I, he's my favorite too. My I favorite, love Penny. But I don't like to deal with him. <laughs> you don't like to deal with him? What do you mean? Too annoying when I have to deal with him. Yeah, like he has, he, he can be a brat, definitely. He always has something to say. But, okay, so what were you going to say? Did you have a second favorite horse? No. No? <laughs> you don't love Penny? <laughs> Nobody loves Penny but me. But you know why? It's because Penny only loves me. And it's like Daisy. Daisy only loves Sophie. He said horse, but I was thinking about it, and I think Gracie's probably the best one. Gracie is an amazing horse. I need to do a video all on her. She's amazing. Why do you think she's the best? Because she's so personable. Way back and comes up to you all the time. Yeah, she's so friendly. Such a lovely horse. Oh, and she goes for a morning run every day. Yeah, every day we put her in the field, and she does a big lap around and then stops to eat. Don't you know?